the two from the book get happy okay so before just start uh, thinking about the grammar get happy usually say okay i'm happy but usually when we for example when we talk about our uh, emotions okay so the much better that for example use get okay get is like okay uh, just t tell you about your uh, your mood right now so for example um, I get heavy I get angry I get upset so this is more common and it's more native than we use uh, just the auxiliary verb and then with the adjectives okay so in this chapter you're gonna find on page 15 um, I don't know if I'm I'm happy here I want you like to read uh, these uh, stuff about that this person is called like uh, Sydney Fisk okay he talk about his life in general so I want you to look to the structure and read it like the language uh, he used is so simple and the words I'm sure that you all of you know all these vocabulary but the problem for you when you start like to talk you just find it is difficulty to uh, make the sentence like the words together. يعني عادة إحنا المشكلة اللي يواجهها الطالب. When we okay the vocabulary, he knows the vocabulary, he knows the structure. But when we try to speak, he have a problem. راح يكون عنده he has problem. شنو أبي connect words to each other. فما راح تكون الجملة تكون بطريقة مفهومة. So. How how you prove your English in that way? By reading, even it is simple stuff. Like here is so simple. But how the way that the, they put like the structure of the sentences, okay, and gather uh, vocabulary together, really important for you to develop uh, the English speaking skills. So if you look to grammar spot here, they just focus on uh, simple presence. Or present symbol usually like okay you have okay symbol present it is really common uh, tenses that we use especially when we talk about our routine our regular li uh, life okay or we talk about facts statements so this is more common and general uh, tenses that you can use especially when to describe or especially when you talk about something facts about signs so this is much better that you use this tense and don't verify in all the other tenses. Here in the grammar spot, they use um, usually, often, rarely, never. This uh, kind of words we call adverbs of frequency. You know, adverbs of frequency, and why we use it? It just like help us to know how often the verb is just like okay happen. يعني شو وقت حدوث الفعل لان هي هاي كلها usually often هي في الشي تكرار we use it specifically just focus on specifically نستخدمها خصيصا مع ظروف ال adverbs of frequency فاني ما اقدر استخدم usually or often or rarely or never or sometimes or seldom ما اقدر استخدمها ويا ال present continuous او استخدمها ويا ال perfect or the future no this is used specifically with the simple present okay so just focus on it and I'm also I'm gonna like uh, attach you a video about it okay so when you talk about your life or other lives that the regular life is not an event that happened and just end or I'm not talking about the future plans no I'm talking about regular life so you use the symbol present and here like if you look on the grammar spot also on page 17 you find that, for example, we can sometimes use this uh, simple uh, present continuous. Present continuous is not really common to use unless that we are talking about an event that happened 
recently that's happening right now at the moment of speaking right now today so these like such of um, uh, words that help, help us to use the present continuous for example she usually drives to work so her regular routine that she drives to work but today so this is happening right now recently today she is not driving she's walking that means this that's the driving or not driving and walking that happened at the moment of speaking so in this way i can use the present continuous but i cannot use it for example when i talk about a regular life or i'm talking about an action that i usually do of course not Okay, the most important important uh, mistake that it is um, done by most of the Arabic native speaker that they use the present continuous, and that make their your speech or your uh, conversation is weird. Because we use the present continuous when we talk about action that happened at the moment of speaking. في لحظة التحدث في الوقت التحدث وليس في شيء مضى or for example uh, something regular habit. Okay, and we don't use the present uh, continuous with non-action verb. What's mean non-action verbs? Non-action verbs like um, the verb that we don't do a kind of physical effort. يعني الأفعال اللي إحنا بنسوي بها جهد physically جسدي. Like for example, like this is emotion. Okay, no, of course this is emotion. This is not like physically or understand. Okay, enjoy, work, think, think. If I talk about opinion here, or come. Because think if I, for example, think about uh, to solve a problem math. Here I'm using, um, uh, for example, I'm using as uh, a kind of physical effort because I'm using um, my mind to think about solving uh, a problem math. But when I talk about opinion, I think it is better to go okay or i think um i have to uh, come back okay so here i think when i give opinion is fine this is not action and also when we come come play have if i talk about possessive okay position for example i have uh, a car i have a family but if i use it when we talk about eat about food for example um, I'm having my meal right now. I'm having my breakfast right now. So here when I talk about have, يعني كما عناها في اللغة العربية تناول, which is come uh, specifically when, when I talk about meal, not for example talk about food. No, I'm talking about meal, وجبة غذائية. I'm talking about like specific kind of food. So here I can use have, معنى يتناول. Okay, so here I can use it like present continuous, but when I use it with the possessive, absolutely I can't use it. Okay, it is it's become like a, a non-action verb. We have love, want, see. So all these kinds, it is non-action verbs. So we cannot use it with the present continuous. I cannot put ing with the present continuous. And if you look to reading and speaking, um, just talk about the clown doctors, which is so weird topic. What's mean the clown doctors? Doctors usually like, okay, they wear white in a respected way. But here the clown, what's mean clown? Clown is me Muharraj, clown, the clown doctor. So here, like the whole uh, paragraphs or the whole article talk about like two um, doctors who were like uh, as a clown to uh, make their patient, which they are just children, make them happy. So I want you like to read it, okay, and to know why they are wearing such, such a kind of uniform and what is the difficulty that they found and the most important that you look uh, to the structure of the sentences this is the same thing and here we have for uh, like some question about it okay and now let's if we moving to vocabulary and listening like when we talk about the sport activity, 
we use actually uh, the verb go attached with the verb plus ing, which is what we call gerund. It's not a verb, it's basically as a noun. Like for example, if I say go snowboarding, go uh, like swimming, go fishing, go skiing, uh, go jogging, go, uh, uh, for example, um, for example, go shopping. So these such a kind of activities should be uh, preceded by the verb go, and then we have like uh, uh, we have the activity. So you have very careful. Uh, you should be uh, very careful by by using uh, these such a kind of structure with it. For example, even like shopping. Shopping is considered like activity, not only like sport. It's activity. For example, um, I go shopping uh, with my friends every weekend, okay? Or for example, I go fishing uh, with uh, some friends, or I go skiing, I go horse riding, horse riding also as well, okay? I go camping, okay? So these such of activities, either it is a sport or not so, it is used with the verb go. That is why it puts you like for two, sport or go. So look to this page on page 20 and see how, how you put like, for example, uh, like here, mountain biking, mountain biking. Okay, we use go because this is activity. I'm not talking about mountain itself. I'm talking about mountain biking. Okay. Yeah, so this is the most important things that you're going to uh, read on this chapter or in this unit, unit 2. It's just talk about the present time and the present time, it is just we use uh, a 2. Either we use the symbol of present uh, and the symbol of present we use it only when we talk about things that happen regularly. And I'm also I'm going to send uh, you an, um, uh, a video about uh, the simple present. Or we talk about the present continuous, which we don't use it all the time. We use it only when we talk about the action that happened at the moment of speaking. And um, also uh, use the adverbs of frequency. The adverb of frequency, we use it only when we talk about um, uh, the present uh, symbol or symbol of present, both of them correct, okay? And this is because it shows how often the verb uh, happen. For example, I usually go to the gym. I always... Uh, uh, read up before sleeping okay so these such a kind of ver adverbs we use it specifically with the present symbol or symbol of presence okay thank you so much